Hey everybody and welcome. Today we are here in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, getting ready to take you guys along with us to Azul. All right, here is a look at the menu here at Azul. Here are the appetizer selections that they have. We are going to go with the chips and salsa flight. You can see there's a number of other different available appetizers. Down here are the specials of the house, house specials. They do have an Azul salad for 10 bucks. You can see it includes corn, bean relish, pico de gallo. And here are the sides that you can choose from. Here are all of the classics. Here are the specialty tacos. Down here are the specialty fajitas. And here are the desserts. And right here on the kids menu, they have quesadillas, beef tacos, and chicken tacos. And it also comes with your choice of a side and a drink. So here's our chips and salsa flight, which includes fire roasted salsa, salsa verde, and azul cremiso salsa. And they also have an elotes ribs, which is sweet corn quartered into ribs and fried and tossed in tahini, cotilla cheese, cilantro, lime, and elote sauce. Now, I know this isn't my thing to say, but sweet tea alert. <laughs> <laughs> sweet tea alert, huh? And we all ended up getting sweet tea. And I want to point out the salsa here, this salsa roja, very, very chunky with the tomatoes, which is what we love. And over here, not the biggest fan of salsa verde, but it's, it's okay. But what's really good is this creamy jalapeno. This creamy jalapeno sauce is delicious. Not too spicy, it's just wonderful. I love how they include blue chips with this being Azul, which is blue in Spanish, love it. And I really enjoy the bright colors that are in here. Like everywhere you go, it's just very bright. There's lots of natural sunlight coming in, as you'll see. And right over here to the side of our table, look at that. It's an awesome little mural of Dolly Parton. All right, Gigi, what was your favorite salsa? The creamy jalapeno. Creamy jalapeno. What was your favorite? Maybe I would say twelve. Creamy jalapeno? Jennifer, what was your favorite? I liked them all. I liked them all as well. Creamy jalapeno was my favorite. The red salsa or salsa roja uh, was my second favorite. Salsa verde was okay. For I got the mini chimichangas with the rice and beans. And I ended up getting the arroz con pollo. Can you roll your R's? Ar <laughs> <laughs> What does yours have? Chicken tinga. Chicken tinga? What is chicken tinga? I think it's a type of spice that they put into chicken. Okay. And then look at that nice cheese dip on top. And cilantro. And then the pico looks really good. I love red onions. I'm so glad that they have red onions in their pico. Go ahead. And here is what the inside of the mini chimichangas with the chicken tinga looks like. So I just took a bite of everything on my plate. It's so good. It's really, really great. The chicken is very tender that's inside there that's shredded. And then you've got the good soft tortilla and then that cheese dip on top is really tasty also. There's a lot of flavor in that. And then I also tried the rice and beans. There's a little bit of a spice to the, uh, the rice so it does have a little bit of a kick. Um, and then the same with the beans. There's a little tiny bit of a kick to the beans. But very good. Alright, so cutting off a piece of the chicken here. So, just a couple of peppers on top. There you can see the chicken. Get a little bit of rice in that little bite as well. It's got a very distinctive um, type of spice that's in it. 
it's a good hearty piece of chicken. You know, a lot of times when you get arroz con pollo, it's a bunch of chicken chunks that they put on your uh, plate, already cut up. This is not. Look at that char that's on there. I'm enjoying that char, and um, I'm gonna try some of the spice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> charro. <laughs> and so I'm gonna try some of the uh, rice here by itself. It's a really good arroz con pollo. Um, you typically don't see it with lettuce, but I'll add some of that in there. I'll tell you, the only thing that would make it better is if it came with some tortillas. So, something that's interesting is as I was cutting my chicken, I felt something crunchy. And I was like, well, maybe that's the char of the chicken. And then I dug a little deeper. There's little tortilla chips in here. So, that's a really cool, awesome touch that I have never seen done before with arroz con pollo. You did say that you wanted tortillas with that, but you got the crunchy version. That I did. <laughs> and so, one thing uh, to know about us, just as, as people, Mexican food is probably our favorite. And I would say at least once every other week, we, we have some sort of Mexican food. Probably more frequent than that, to be honest. But it is one of our favorite foods. This is not like your standard traditional Mexican food. This is a, a, a little different. It's more of like a... What would you say, like a Tex-Mex? Tex-Mex, yeah. Yeah, for sure. And it is it is very delicious. And I'm trying to compare it to some other restaurants we've been to. Obviously, it's not at that same level or scale of like Papacitos out of Texas or even Loco Burro, I think, probably has a little bit of an edge on this one. But this is pretty good. And the Elotes ribs have arrived. Take a look at that. It does have corn, and guess what? It is corn. So now I'm gonna try one of the elotes ribs, which is essentially just corn on the cob that's been shaved off the ear here. And we have some crema sauce. Tajin. And tajin. We also have some cilantro. So here we go. We weren't gonna order this, and then I'm like, I'll regret it if we leave here and didn't try this. And so Jennifer's like, let's get it. So, here it is up close, and here's the first bite. One thing is for certain, I definitely would have regretted leaving here and not trying this, because this is the favorite, my favorite thing that I've tried here so far. Wow. These are outstanding, very flavorful. The cream is a great combination with the corn, the, the sweetness of the corn, and that uh, the cheese that's on there, the co cotilla cheese, cotilla, yeah. cotilla cheese. Um, we have tried that at the house on some Mexican dishes before and it's a very delicious cheese that just really resonates to the flavor, kind of like a, a, a Parmesan. And then of course uh, cilantro always goes great with Mexican dishes and that tahini gives it just a very slight spice. Um, but now we'll see what Jennifer thinks. That is so tasty. It's like, uh, if you like roasted corn, like I do, it's so good. And then they've got those good spices on there, the crema and the cheese. So you get like all those different flavors melding together and then the lime juice squeezed on there, it just pops it off, so good. And it looks like Gentry's really been enjoying his chicken quesadilla. And then Henry is already done with his taco and he's moving on to some rice here. All right, Gentry had his first bite of the corn ribs. What do you think, buddy? You like the spices in there? I didn't actually taste any of the spices. They're, they're kind of faint, kind of light, right? Henry's going in for his first bite there. Henry, give a big thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Final bill here came out to $75.27 after tax and before tip. That was Azul. Henry, what'd you think about Azul? It was good, and uh, I like it so much. And, uh, and I liked it. And the taco must I have been pretty good. It's so great, and I also like it so much. And that taco must have been and pretty good, right? That's my favorite, too. Uh, your favorite, all right. And Gentry. I gotta say, the service here was excellent, and the day. Decorations here, outstanding. I gotta say, if you love Mexican, this is the place to go. Absolutely, and Jennifer. 
Yes, uh, we also want to give a shout out to our server, Annie. Hi, Annie, thank you so much for your great service and, and for all of your help. We really appreciate your service. You did excellent and um, everything here was so beautiful. I mean, the place is just gorgeous. The decorations, everything, and the food presentation. That's really cool too. I mean, that's even artwork itself. But the food, the taste, oh my gosh, so good. All the sauces, loved all of those. The chips were perfect. The um, corn ribs, th that was so, so good. Definitely get those. And then the chimichangas, those were excellent as well. And I really like the cheese dip that was on top of those. That was, I thought that was really, really good. And sweet tea alert, this is gonna be uh, in my top three sweet teas in this area. So wanted to make sure to shout that out as well. And this is just a great place. And I have to point out, there is a rooftop bar. It was currently locked down and, and you could not access it today. There are no employees upstairs, but it is the off season. So when everything is in season, which begins in about mid-March here in the Pigeon Forge area, I would certainly say that the rooftop bar is going to be open and very much alive here at the Mountain Mile of Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Everything about my meal was excellent as well. I love the salsa flight. I guess they don't give you salsa unless you get the salsa flight, but for $5, not a bad deal at all. And that creamy jalapeno sauce was just excellent. Uh, my meal was good, very good. Uh, but my favorite thing of all were the rib, the low taste ribs. I can't remember what they're called. Favorite thing of all were the low taste ribs. Thank you, Jennifer. Um, but with that being said, guys, if you're here in Pigeon Forge looking for some great Tex-Mex, this is the place to go. And we sure do thank you guys for joining us here in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee at Azul. And we sure do look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Every, Every Day is Saturday. Saturday. Woo! Subscribe. And if you have not seen any of our prior videos here at the Mountain Mile, this is right off of Teaster Lane. Of course, they have train rides. The boys have done those before. Over here, they have yard games. You can see some chess, cornhole. And then, of course, back here, they have the Mountain Monster. There's basically three rides all in this tower here. Maybe we'll see one today. It's not very busy and there's no line for anything, but maybe we'll get lucky and I can show you this ride in action. And over here to the right of Azul, you'll see Mount Leconte. And it may be hard to see off in the distance, but there is some snow on top of Mount Leconte right there.